Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. I'm now going to be talking to Erica Martins and Dr. Johnny Drain in front of me about AI and food ethics. So I'm going to be talking to you first. You're with Studio Martins. Tell me about this. Erica and I are working on a, a project, a platform that we're building called Gaia. And what we're really interested in is the ethics of AI as they apply to food systems. Food systems are complex. AI can help distill some of that complexity and make food systems better, more circular, more regenerative, better for the planet, better for its people. But we need to make sure we're having conversations around the ethics and the biases within the data sets. And Eric or I are on a mission to nurture that conversation. Uh, it's really interesting because we haven't heard much about that in terms of I mean, food, we can't do without it, right? So we need, and what are the kind of ethical issues that are at stake? Exactly. Eric and I started talking about these issues about three years ago because we felt no one else was talking about them. When we look at the, the amazing ideas in the, the conference center today, we see a lot of technology, and it's brilliant, made for or by people who are often are white, they're men, they're old, they're from developed countries, and they're familiar with urban areas rather than rural areas. They're also human. And there's lots of brilliant technology, and we're not knocking that. But when we think about food systems, there's lots of other important voices that aren't those things that we need to make sure are represented in any of the technology we use to improve food systems. And the last point is quite interesting about human. When we think about food systems, we're reliant on animals, on forests, on networks of, of, of fungi that nourish the root structures. And we want to make sure that there is not just human-centered design or human-centered AI, but that we account for and incorporate, include all of these non-human important agents that, that support the food system and the Earth's ability to feed itself. So as you've been talking around the conference about this, what's the feedback? Feedback's good. The feedback is largely that people are not thinking about this, but when we explain to them what we're doing and what, why we want to do it, they say, ah, yes, that's really important. How can we help? And that's what Gaia is. It's a platform we're building in its uh, early stages where we're gathering support, nurturing the conversation, looking for money also to support our work. Fantastic, really interesting, thanks very much. Thanks. So picking up on our conversation on food ethics and AI, I'm now joined by Erica Martins, also from Studio Martins. Um, really interesting subject um, your colleague was talking about. So what are we re why is this important? So I think it's really important when we talk about the, the future of AI that we are creating guidelines, that we are also bringing in you know, a diverse uh, interdisciplinary team in these discussions, that we have creatives, that we have people from, from the food industry, technologies and ethics, uh, to really build these guidelines because these are really setting the, the basis of our future, future to come, right? And when we talk about food system, it's a very complex systems, right? And we need to bring transparency to the consumer for everyone to actually make, make better decisions. Uh, I, I really believe that everyone wants to, you know, make the right choice, and uh, not only for yourself, but also for our planet. Uh, so that's why we are really looking into how we can create um, a more Earth-centered design principle and not really looking from a human-centered design perspective, but really bringing in kind of a a different uh, holistic mindset to these discussions. And with a specific issue of hunger, how can you help there? So hunger is, um, you know, if you kind of look at it, there are actually been enough food being <laughs> produced in the world today, but it's actually the, the problem of the distribution. Uh, so we truly believe that AI can, can help, um, you know, optimizing these food systems uh, and also the distribution. Give me an example how. So, you know, if, if you look at the whole uh, food supply chain, it's a very complex kind of opaque system. Um, and if we can really optimize it and kind of augment and see all these different, uh, you know, what's being wasted in the whole food, food uh, supply chain, um, I think that can really help companies, but also uh, individuals to better understand where their food is coming from, who is producing it, um, what is the ethics behind it, um, and how we can make you know, informed based decisions uh, out of this. Great, Erica Martins, thank you very much for your time on that. We'll be talking about this, I'm sure, a lot more in the future. Thank you very much. And we'll have much more on AI for Goods Global Summit coming up right here.